Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to work on something a little bit more aggressive for this graphic. Look at the light. Look at everything. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he is different. Now, we watched the Boston Celtics literally punk the Nets with physicality, with bully ball. But as my boy, Zach Randolph, once said, where he's from, bullies get bully. And what happens when the most physical team goes against one of the most physical players? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look. Let's break this down. First of all. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. I I thrive through physicality. Like I like I love feeling beat up after games. I don't know why. You know, my family think I'm a, I'm a weirdo, but uh You're not weird, like you when just the game, you know, finish, I just kinda of look at my body. If I don't feel mm -hmm. like I'm like beat up or like you know, mm -hmm. I was physical enough, or they were physical to me, I feel like I didn't give everything for my team. Mm-hmm. Now, so look, we're going to show a little theme of my guy because you know why? You want people that embrace physicality, that look for physicality. And for the Boston Celtics, watch this. See, look, Al Horford's going to give him space because he's not really a three-point threat. But what does he do? He eats that space. The two biggest guys, Time Lord Al Horford, watch this. They put him in a tough spot, and what does Giannis do? He can handle all that physicality. And it's not about bullying through the physicality. It's forcing people to help that allow for open shots for your team teammates and they knocks down the shot then again here what do we got Jason Tatum this ain't KD bro like and I understand that KD's a monster you but this guy so this guy watch this oh get off me little fella oh here we go give me some more here oh look get out of here and oh, then what no. does he do what does he do he goes against the next biggest guy on the floor eat that and one that's what he can do he can take physicality and create for himself but he can also take physicality and create for others that's the difference between Giannis and the last thing I'll say they have a great Great team. This is a great team, and the way they are playing is going to be a big issue if the if the Boston Celtics can't learn to contain that monster. And they were missing an all-star. And they can't muscle up. Right? They can't muscle up, <laughs> man. That's a problem. So physicality was the theme of game one. So let's get physical. Perk, you were both a physical player and a Celtic, so you are the perfect person to start with here. What is sticking with you from that game that we're now a day removed from? Uh, Drew Holiday. I got to mm. go with Drew Holiday. You know why? Because when I look at Drew Holiday, think about last year. When Giannis was out, Drew Holiday stepped his game up, and all of a sudden him and Chris Middleton became a dangerous duo last postseason. All of a sudden Chris Middleton goes out. Now he drops 25-10 and 10, game one and becomes a dangerous duo with Giannis Antetokounmpo. We already know what he's bringing on the defensive side of things. But I, the other thing that stood out to me is that I think it's very, very clear that Giannis Antetokounmpo is the best basketball player in the world. Like, to go 9 for 25 and still have a triple-double and impose his will the way that he did, his dominance, and we still sitting up here talking about how great of a game he played when we know we could have saw better, it speaks volumes on how he has taken over that throne. Perk, I know you had some thoughts on Jason Tatum's pregame outfit. Oh, don't do that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. You know what? Look, here's the thing. I like, I like when, I like when guys are confident. And listen, JT came in, he swagged up, so he got I'm his in. shades on. But you have, to, yeah, but you have to, you have to remember, <laughs> Giannis walking in. Majority of the time, he got his sweatsuit on <laughs> and those black Air Force Ones. <laughs> and we all know how it is in the hood <laughs> when somebody pulling up with the black Air Facts. Force with Ones. Creases. They want all the smoke. Mm -hmm. So and he gave it to him <laughs> <laughs> with creases. Thanks. Shoes tied tight, real tight. Just, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you never heard Port Run Rock the other way. Go right to turn? that octave. Right Are turn? you okay? Yeah, that, the Black Air Force Ones with Run the other way. tied real tight. That's not. Uh, uh, they're not giving you no deal either. They're not no. giving you no deal. The price no. is the price. Uh, Giannis has said before that he, he he's got a little something something. He just doesn't bring it out on game day. What day does he bring the it out? Day. You know, maybe the All Star Dunk Contest when he's watching right. with his little phone. We 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 have a five day a week show. Okay. So we can make. Did you know that you don't show up five days a week? So we can Facts. make predictions and we have takes on the league. 
I'm curious, Richard, did what <sighs> happened yesterday change any of your thoughts on how this series is going to play out? No, I, I, in the beginning, I thought that the Bucks were going to have to shoot the ball extremely well from three, especially without Chris Middleton, because you don't have that other playmaker. So a lot of it is going to be Drew and Giannis handling that physicality. Where he handled the physicality, didn't really shoot the ball particularly well, but you can see how that still allowed for open shots for his teammates. So if they can shoot between 38 and 42, that gives them a chance to win. But I do believe Boston's going to play exponentially better as the series goes on. Malika, it did change for me, honestly. You know, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about is Giannis the best player in the world? And I was like, let me see what happens when KD gets out there, see if the Lakers make the postseason. What? I know, but I'm what? just we're saying. We're not allowed to time. mention them anymore. Okay, I know. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to say, like, best player in the world. You're talking about LeBron. You're talking about KD. You're talking about coach. these up and coming. I don't even know who the he, coach is. I think right now, I'm willing to say, you know, <laughs> if, as Perk said, he's not only Giannis Antetokounmpo is not only the most dominant player, but he is the best player based on how he plays given the circumstance Preach. that we're seeing without Chris Middleton. And so me, I'm always going back to, but based on the gameplay and also facts and also feel. And at this point and period, going up against a Celtics team who had their rhythm, had the best defense, you're missing your other all-star, your running mate, and you still find a way to win when you're not necessarily as effective shooting the ball. You get 12 assists and you have a triple-double. And a lot of people Come don't on, talk girl. about Giannis Antetokounmpo and his handle. He grabs the ball. He's got a tight handle. He's now making all the necessary reads he's the best player in the world and now we're seeing it in real time now uh, I think before I uh, said it was Celtics and I think five or six I think I said it on NBA did? countdown I think it's going to be a seven game series and and the basketball world will be happy for it I won't tell you who's going to win though you never ain't. bet against the champs that's oh the no rule. we, that's we the rule. See, see. I I am. I'm still, I still got the Celtics in seven. Because you work for I got the Celtics are, you in seven. I'm for the Celtics, people. No, I you know green, that has, right? I, I work for ESPN. I know it has nothing to do with it. I'm so unbiased. Bag. I'm the most unbiased person on this panel. Listen, here's the thing. When it comes down to the Boston Celtics, Jason <laughs> okay. Tatum and Jalen Brown, they will bounce back. But hold on, look. We know that RJ is not going to say nothing about the Nets. We know Malik is Cass. not going to say nothing about her Golden State Bo Bay Area squad. She going to ride with We're them. So we know, the what, it the we know what, what it is. What are you talking about? Um, Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.